What's up everybody, Zero Ice here, uh, bringing the last level of the Halo Reach Solo Legendary Tips series. This is Pillar of Autumn, and starting off, if you look over this cliff right here, I'm going to zoom in on that elite. That's the elite that you need to jump off and assassinate to get your, if they came here to see me, beg achievement. Uh, this is just after that little part, you've got three elites, or three grunts, and an elite. And then you get on here and you find the original pack of three grunts and the elites. And as you can see, there are three jackals with shields on the bridge. And the only difficult part about this first little section is that obviously you don't really have enough ammo with your pistol to kill everything. So you're going to have to rely on some covenant weapons, which as you know, do a uh, little bit, if nothing, to the shielded jackals. They're pretty much ass. And... You should make sure that you uh, don't just waste your green gun shots like that. Don't be premature on your lock-ons. You never want to be premature. I said that before, and I stand by that statement. So the hardest part about this is running out of pistol ammo, like I said. Um, you can opt to pick up the concussion rifle, which I end up doing. Which is kind of effective, but not really doesn't do a whole lot of good, especially against jackals, which I'm about to use it against, which is dumb, so just don't do it. But, like I said, kind of want to do this with the worst possible weapons you can have, so having a covenant weapon versus a shielded jackal, the worst situation you could be in at this point. Just try and shoot around his feet and towards the side that has the opening on, and it should, uh, it should work, or, you know, you can just kill him like normal. Now, underneath the bridge, there's a group of three grunts, and then just past the other side of the bridge, there's three or four grunts, and I think another elite. I think the elite spawns over here, but it could be the one that I originally had from the beginning, I'm not sure. But in any situation, if you run out of ammo and you can make it across the bridge, it's just run across the bridge and there's this building here, and inside is a rocket launcher and some DMRs. Uh, now I grabbed, obviously, the rockets and was going to go to the DMRs, but I saw that I had another elite, so I wanted to keep my green gun for one last second so that I could easily kill the elite without wasting too much ammo and or rockets. Once those are dead, I ran inside and grabbed the rocket launcher. Uh, the next part is about driving the mongoose. So here's my little path that I take. Uh, basically, I just full gun it as fast as I can. You should be getting shot around here from the banshees, uh, either right before or at the bridge, and if you do that, you're in good, good uh, situation. However, coming around this corner, there's going to be a big spider thingy. I really can't remember what they're called at this particular moment. It just left me. But one of those is going to drop, and it's got uh, guys on the turrets and everything that kind of sucks. So what I do is wait here right around the corner, and about the time that he gets to me, that my teammate gets with me, I take off again. Try not to, you know, turn over or whatever. And as you can see, that other spider in front of me is going to shoot at me. Uh, hopefully, if you don't spin out in the two places that I did, you should get to it in time so that you won't get shot too badly. Here, they break my shield, and that's all, but that could be just kind of lucky. Or you can also stop and wait at that second bend around, and uh, like you do with the first one, so you don't have to worry about the second one either. The second one takes a long time to wait, though. Now, this phantom shows up, and what I usually do is stop here right in the shadow and look ahead, and when I see the phantom go across in the tunnel in front of me, I continue on. That way he doesn't shoot at me the whole time through this little area and while you're making the jump, because he will kill you. Now, this next little part, there's a lot of grunts, a lot of jackals with shields, a lot of brutes, and a wraith. So, it's not a whole lot of fun. Oh, and a little floaty platform thingy with two jackals with needle rifles in it. Can't forget about those. As you can see, this little building here over to the left, there's usually one to three brutes that come in here. There's always going to be the one that I just stuck. There's usually going to be another one that comes in, and then every now and then a third one will come from the back and, and peek up, and that's what happens in this situation. So this is kind of how I dealt with three of them. Uh, actually, I didn't deal with all three of them. I dealt just with two of them because the third one ran back to where he originally was. But just throw some grenades shoot him in the head. It's not a whole lot of of issues. Also, don't worry about saving too much ammo because there's a ammo crate right behind you where you just came from as well as in the building that these roots are in. So, spam away. Uh, there's going to probably be a big collection of grunts and jackals with shields in the little courtyard that you passed. 
as well as in between you and the wraith. Now my suggestion is to do like here and just take everything out from long range as much as you can because once you jump off of this cliff or move anywhere past that little building to the left that's when the wraith starts targeting you. So the many enemies you can kill from standing back the least you have to worry about the wraith. When you can't really see anymore go ahead and come in here and grab some ammo. If you need health go ahead and grab it. Don't stand directly in the doorway. Standing in the doorway or anywhere close to the doorway um, you're gonna get killed from this flash damage by the wraith. Uh, what I decided to do when I couldn't really see anymore was I jumped up on this little workbench and crouched. There was a wraith shot right there. Probably would have killed you if you were in the doorway. So just stand back, pick everything off that you can. So, shouldn't be a whole lot left if you killed a quite a bit of stuff from up top. Uh, I think these two brutes are the only ones that are left. Uh, stay up here a little while longer, see if you can find any more coming out of buildings. But when you run out of options, hop into this next little building and again be careful because now the wraith can shoot like directly in through the big doors and stuff so kinda stand back make sure you're in cover you're in between the cliff wall if you can see the wraith it can see you and then I think I have one more brute to clean up and then we'll deal with this little wraith Essentially for this part, like I said, just stand back when you first come in by that uh, gate and try and kill as much stuff as you can from up there. Just remember you don't shoot the wraith while you're up there or else it'll change its target. Uh, it'll change you to be its target. So don't shoot the wraith until you absolutely have to, which should be just right here behind these barrels with the rocket launcher. Alright, just after this part, this is right around the hill, I have to make a U-turn basically. Uh, there's going to be a couple of suicide grunts and a couple of jackals with needle rifles. Um, the jackals usually sit behind the rocks, this rock in particular, and, uh, and shoot out. And my suggestion is probably to go ahead and just dump your rockets for a needle rifle. There's not going to be any real situation anytime soon that you're going to need uh, a heavy weapon where you wouldn't rather have some extra precision ammo. And I don't know why I made a big circle like that, but I did. Uh, so just after some sleepy marines uh, with a little green light and some AR ammo, you're going to come around this corner and you get the little flying bastards. Now it kind of sucks because you have two precision weapons and it's a little harder to kill those without a headshot, but there are two sleeping marines back there that have ARs. You're more than welcome to pick those up, but I have expressed my disappointment of the AR in quite a few videos, so you can understand why I didn't pick them up. Uh, there's two major hallways, or two major like areas and a couple of hallways that involve these little fuckers. Um, just bob your weaving way in between rocks, rocks, it's late, sorry, between rocks, and just make sure that they, none of them can get, you know, really good angles on you. You don't want one or two of them to be able to see you at a time because they can rapid fire that little pistol and if both of them are shooting you, you'll go down really quickly. Now in the second little room you get a little overlook. There's going to be a lot more flying things, but there's also going to be a couple of skirmishers down below. Uh, there's two to three that spawn up right here, and there's another three in the back hallway, and they're the little runny ones that have shields on their arms. I think this is actually the first time you encounter those, I'm not sure. But you pretty much have to get a headshot on those because they block everything else with their their shields. Pick up your extra needle rifle ammo since you're probably out by now. And as you can see the three skirmishers and they have those little shields. And they still run just as fast as normal skirmishers. So it's pretty much balls. Alright, this next little area is, if you've played multiplayer, the Boneyard, usually the Invasion map, uh, or Rocket Race for multi-team. And as you can see, there is a whole bunch of skirmishers with shields, there's jackals with shields, I think there's a couple of jackals without shields, and there's a whole bunch of elites. In particular, you see that gold elite that's got uh, fuel rod, which is the green rockets. It's pretty much balls. 
So from up here on this little perch before you fall off, I don't worry about any elites. There's no reason to. They're just going to waste ammo with that. And try and shoot as many jackals and skirmishers as I can. Uh, once you pick up a lot of the jackals, the skirmishers will go and hide. Uh, right where that white elite is right there. There are actually a whole bunch of skirmishers behind those two crates that are going to attack me as soon as I jump. Um, this skirmisher kept coming out, but normally he would probably just go and hide as well. So try and kill the skirmishers before you kill the jackals and see if that helps. I don't know if it will or not. Uh, if you saw that marine run up to the little structure in the middle of the yard, that's kind of your signal that you can go ahead and move forward a little bit. Um, that things have kind of settled down. And from here what you want to do is pick up any skirmishers that you don't already have. Uh, as you can see there is AR and a health pack right here in this little corner. But inside the building there's also more DMR ammo as well as another health pack. You just gotta kill all the damn skirmishers. And then of course what you always do when you encounter an elite is do the best you can to go find a green gun. Fortunately all the skirmishers have them. Now you can pick up the health pack that's right here in the corner but I go ahead and pick up the health pack that's in the building if I haven't used it already because in the event that I need it I probably need it quickly and I want the one that's most readily available to be there during actual combat. Once again don't be premature it's terrible. Especially not twice in a row. That's like four times in the same video. That's terrible. Uh, there are some elites that spawn up there where the actual like invasion bases are. But there are the like shitty elites that don't really have any shields. So you don't need a green gun for those. Um, really you're just worried about the gold elites and this particular gold yellow one that's got a fuel rod cannon. Because he will... He'll mess your day up a little bit. He'll throw a wrench in your plan.